The 2018 hurricane season gets started with warnings to prepare. And those warnings are coming from local leaders like the mayor and stretch all the way to Washington, D.C. I spoke with Vice President Mike Pence today following a visit by the Trump administration to Federal Emergency Management Headquarters. Well, Kent, uh, last year, as you noted, in Jacksonville, lived through it, uh, was a historic hurricane season. And uh, today, President Trump assembled our entire cabinet. These are some of the images from that assembly. President Trump and the First Lady attended the 2018 hurricane season briefing at FEMA headquarters. I asked the vice president why Jacksonville continues to wait on reimbursement money from FEMA. Following Hurricane Matthew in 2016, the city asked for $47 million. Following last year's Hurricane Irma, the city requested an additional $83 million. So far, only $20 million has been sent to Jacksonville. But make no mistake about it, uh, and uh, the administrator of FEMA, Brock Long, spoke of this today with 4.7 million people applying for federal assistance in 2017. One of our objectives this year is simply to accelerate the distribution of resources to individuals and also to, to, make, uh, to make resources available that will help mitigate uh, against uh, the, uh, the impact of storms in the future. We're internalizing all of that. Uh, President Trump is absolutely committed uh, to uh, taking the lessons of 2017, improving our response rate. Speaking on behalf of President Trump, Mr. Pence says every first responder should be proud and that the lessons learned last year will lead to improvements this year. I asked Pence about the tragedy of Puerto Rico, where response by the federal government was criticized and thousands died. The reality is, is that that hurricane struck uh, Puerto Rico, as I saw firsthand when we visited there, it struck Puerto Rico right at dead center and it liter literally compromised uh, the entire island. The vice president says specific objectives have changed after what happened in Puerto Rico. He also said the loss of even one life is too many.